Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I wanted to share with you what new cacti I added to my uh, collection in October 2024 and also to give you some updates what's going on in my plastic greenhouse and I can already reveal that I bought a dehumidifier but about that a bit later. So let's have a look at my new purchases. So they are from Cactus Shed the link to this uh, web shop you will find um, in the description box of this uh, film. So as you know I love Gymnocalisium and I already made a video as well about my collection 2024. So the link is up above so check it out if you haven't seen it yet. And all in all, all my cacti, desert cacti are in my uh, greenhouse and ready for the winter rest period. They got the last watering mid-September and they won't go get any drop of water until next growing season. Apart from Gymnocalisium I also bought Echinopsis because I liked uh, those beautiful spines and there were also photos of Mediolobivia and Sucorobusia of the flowers which really took my fancy and I bought those two plants as well. Now, uh, separately from not cactus shed, but also I uh, got beautiful Thanksgiving uh, cactus. Already have similar color uh, and this one is just really enchanting. It's like orange, yellow or even gold with a hint of pink. It's just fantastic color. And uh, I've got a small collection of Schlumbergera, uh, including Trancata, of uh, flowers of different colors, and they are now in buds. So when they all flower, I will make a separate video, so stay tuned. Also what's in buds, it's my Ripsalis pilocarpa. So if you see at the end uh, of, your, of the stems of your Ripsalis, those hairy buds, uh, red ones, so it means it will be flowering soon. I also received this uh, Parodia Scopa from my friend Lorraine, so thank you Lorraine if you're watching this video. So let's move on to my uh, greenhouse. As I mentioned before, uh, I had monkey ties in three different pots, so now I repot it into one. As you can see there are some but still it wants to flower there's even one small already but i don't think this one will develop the others may still have a chance to flower also i used this uh, yellow sulfur on my echeverias because i've noticed that the mold or uh, mildew powdery mildew started to develop so you can see here it's this kind of sediment or white uh, coating, white powder. Don't confuse with farina, which is natural, but this one, I think you can clearly see the difference. So anyway, it's like a kind of fungal infection. So a sul sulfur has got antifungal properties. That's why uh, I sprung it off. And due to the humidity, I bought this dehumidifier which you can see as you can see it shows it's 80 degrees of humidity inside and uh, I set up for 40 degrees you can set up how long you want uh, it to run for 2, 4, 8 or 12 hours and also uh, you can set up the fan how it should run so it's got 10 liters uh, tank for water it's uh, quite light around 8 kilos and what's good as well it runs in the temperatures between 1 to 40 degrees of celsius so it's ideal for greenhouses garages basement it's by uh, pro breeze and i have to say that this uh, make and this dehumidifier was recommended by lynn of the sets of plan of avalon you can also connect those pipes to a dehumidifier and a separate tank and the water that I'm going to collect, I'm going to use to water my indoor plants. And this is how much water after two 
hours of running I collected so I think it's a good purchase for the winter and also it emits a bit of a heat so it dehumidifies and gives a bit of a heating of the winter so thank you for watching bye